Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Glossier review slash first impressions. Truthfully, I was not planning on filming this video today, but my package arrived early and when a Glossier package arrives on the doorstep, you drop everything you're doing and you immediately try it out. Today, I am gonna be reviewing and swatching Glossier's new bronzer called Solar Paint. This has been long, long, long awaited. I have been begging Glossier on my YouTube channel for years to come out with a bronzer and they finally did. I was thinking it was going to be like a stick bronzer, like a cream bronzer, and they did come out with a creamed bronzer, but it's a little bit more of a like liquid whipped texture. I am highly intrigued when they sent out the email that they were saying bronzer coming tomorrow. I was literally like, you're kidding me. We have waited this long. We are going to go ahead and get into it. I actually picked a really great day to not apply any bronzers. So all I have on right now is some concealer and a little bit of powder and then I did put eyeshadow on in the Glossier Lash Lick Mascara but I figured I would do the bronzer application and then apply my favorite cloud paint and my favorite ultra lip to kind of finish off the look. Let's go ahead and get into it though because we all just want to know what the heck solar paint is. So this bronzer is $20. I only got one shade because I did their like shade matching little feature on their website where you can kind of figure out what shade you are. I'm a little bit darker right now because it's the summer, so I probably should have gotten another shade for winter, but I'll just repurchase it. I ended up getting the shade Ray, which is the second lightest shade. There are four shades available. These are $20. Unboxing, it kind of looks like the Lash Lick Mascara box, and then you pull it out here, and it kind of looks a little bit like the Cloud Paint, but at the same time, it's very, very different. So this is the shade that I got, the shade Ray. Each one has a little bit of a pearlescent luminous effect. The whole point of this bronzer is to give you like a glowing bronze versus a matte bronze. So this is probably gonna be a really great spring, summer, early fall bronzer. Typically in the winter, I like to go more matte, but I'm really, really intrigued. This is the applicator on the bronzer. It is a doe foot applicator and it is the slightest bit luminous. Actually, I'll swatch it for you guys. It's the slightest bit luminous, but it's not sparkly. So there's a big difference between luminous and sparkly. And this one is definitely like a really pretty kind of cream. I'm just gonna blend it out with my finger here. This bronzer is supposed to be blended out with the finger because it's supposed to be warmed up by the touch. As you can see, it really blends out really, seamlessly actually i thought it was going to be like kind of like the lid star where you swipe it on and if you don't work perfectly it can get all like splotchy this one really really blends out i honestly wonder if i could have gone darker we're just gonna go with it i wanted to apply it with my finger and then also kind of try it with a brush i just feel like i have a little bit more control i can buff it out a little bit more and i feel like my fingers don't get as dirty so like i said this is a sun-kissed bronzer that has luminosity from light reflecting pearls a thoughtful balance of warmth and dimension so i like bronzers that are typically a little bit more warm tone that does give you like a little bit of that like healthy looking glow this is a almost whipped gel cream which also has a natural effect finish that blends seamlessly with the heat of your fingers so we're just gonna go ahead and apply it because all those facts are great but we just want to know what does it look like on the skin so i've got you guys zoomed in i'm going to take the applicator here and apply it where i would normally apply bronzer so that's going to be kind of the hollows of my cheek and i'm a little bit nervous maybe i do a line this makes me really nervous but we're just going to see so i'm going to take my finger i'm just going to blend out and try to not look like i just you know really contoured my face because you don't want it to be a harsh line but you want it to kind of give you a little bit of like a sculpted bronzy look so you can see it there i'm definitely going very light-handed with this first attempt because I just once you go too much bronzer you really can't go back so and I'm just gonna keep blending until I have the desired look and then the other side I'm actually gonna use my brush to blend it out and we're just gonna see what each form of application looks like I feel like it actually shows up really really naturally on camera and it does have that luminous effect you can see it doesn't mattify it stays very like glowy I'm gonna try it with the brush because I wonder if I could honestly 
get more on with the brush because right now it's a little bit on my fingers which is how you apply it but i'm like i want the product on my face and not on my fingers so i'm just gonna try it with the brush here and we're just gonna see what happens so i'm just taking a fluffy real techniques brush and i just wipe the stuff from my fingers on there so it's the same product but i just want to see if it blends nicely with the brush or if you really do need to use your finger okay honestly i feel like you have way more control that looks really nice Okay, honestly, it says use your fingers, but I think it looks better with a brush. Personally, get into the hairline and then blend it. That looks so good. Blend it out with a brush. Wow. Ooh. Yep, the brush is the move. You can try blending it with your fingers, but I'm just saying the brush is my preferred way to blend it out. I love this warm shade. It looks so good. That seamless. I mean, it really is. There's no like real line of where the bronzer starts and stops. It really just melts into the skin. I really, really like this. Okay, I was a little bit worried with the finger application because I was like, this isn't for me. But the brush application, I love. It looks so good when it's blended out with the brush. That looks so good, you guys. I mean, we've got like a contour, but it's like a soft contour. And it really melted right in. So it's not sitting on top. It really like melted in, which I feel like sometimes with creams because they are like a creamy bronzer this is more of like a liquid whipped bronzer with a cream bronzer sometimes it can sit on top of your makeup whereas i feel like the gel whipped formula really kind of melts i really love that so to finish off the look since we're already here i'm going to apply my favorite shade of cloud paint which is beam this is a beautiful like coral color and this is the summer color of choice i just absolutely adore this shade of cloud paint and i again i apply everything with a brush so i'm gonna apply beam and just finish off the look here with some cloud paint oh it looks so good it's just a very healthy kind of summer look i feel like it looks really really good I'm going to apply a little bit of highlight. This is Haloscope in Quartz and do this around the high points of my face just to add a little bit of glow. This I always apply with my finger because it's like you need the warmth to really kind of melt that center part of the highlight. I feel like the other products, you can definitely get away with a brush. I feel like this highlight I always apply with my finger though. And then a little upper lip. And then to finish off the look, I'm gonna use the Glossier Ultra Lip in the shade Villa. And this is the final look. I have got to say, this bronzer is such a win. I love the formula. I love the way that it blends out and melts into the skin. I love the warmth of this bronzer. I love the slight, like, luminous effect of it. I will say, don't even mess with the finger application. Just use a brush. Like, it really changes the whole look by using a brush. It's not splotchy. It goes on super smooth, super luminous. And you guys can really see, like, it looks so, so beautiful. But those are all of my kind of quick thoughts on solar paint. I really, really like it. I feel like I did actually get the right shade. I'm glad I didn't grab a bunch of other shades just because it's like they wouldn't have worked for me. So I feel like the actual little guide on their website was really helpful for picking out a shade. I really love the way that it looks. I keep looking at it because it really catches the light nicely. I think it works really well with the cloud paint. And I just think these products work really well together. So if you already have cloud paint and the highlight, you're definitely going to want to grab this. I do have a discount code if you want 10% off. Be sure to use my link down below in the description box. I actually really, really love this. I'm really glad that this did not let me down because when I started to apply it with my fingers, I was like, oh no, do we really wait this long for a bronzer that is like not the vibe? But I'm telling you guys, fluffy brush plus this seamless so beautiful it's a big win for me so if you guys enjoyed this review be sure to give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below let me know if you've already ordered your solar paint if you are thinking about getting it if you are new to my channel and you want to check out the rest of my glossier videos i have got an entire playlist linked down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new here and you want to stick around and i will see you guys in my next one very very soon bye y'all